Welcome, everybody. Um, is everybody ready to go live back there? Beautiful. Thanks, guys. Um, welcome to the special uh, board meeting um, on what is today, June 26th. Um, we have a spe we sometimes do this in the summer where there's a lot of uh, personnel decisions that, and it's really the timing is really, as I'm sure many of you sitting out there know, the timing is really important. Um, so we, we've called the special meeting for the purposes to vote. Um, so I'd like to have a motion to call the meeting to order. Moved by Commissioner Bondima, second by Commissioner Chinia. All in favor? Uh, five vote in favor, uh, four absent. I'm anticipating that people will arrive, but um, we have a quorum, and so I want to respect everybody's time, so we'll get started. Um, we'll take, um, rather than treat it as a consent, where well, there's only two items, we'll, we'll take them in order. I'm going to ask for a motion to approve the uh, amendment, uh, the uh, Pazaza contract. Moved by Commissioner Chinia, second by Commissioner Bondima. All in favor? Commissioners McFadden, Bondima, Kashani, Chinia, Richardson. Motion passes 5 0. Uh, four absent. Got that? Um, second, uh, motion to accept the PEP agenda, personnel employment. What does that stand for? PEP, personnel employment and payroll. Payroll. I'm sorry, that's embarrassing. Um, Motion to approve the PEP agenda, moved by Commissioner Richardson. Do I have a second? Second by Commissioner Chinia. All in favor? Commissioner McFadden, Bondima, Kashani, Chinia, Richardson. Um, motion passes 5-0 with four absent. Um, I'd like to ask uh, Chief Grant Skinner to say a few words um, about the people that we just pepped. Thank you. Uh, typically, we invite uh, individuals who are appointed or reassigned to um, our board meetings to be recognized. And in this case, um, given the timing of the special board meeting and the concurrent event of the Chief Academic Officer and Chief of Schools Institute, um, which is happening today, we did not invite them here today and instead um, would like to invite them to the July board meeting so that they can be publicly recognized. Um, that said, um, I am going to read through the list of our many appointments great. and reassignments today. Great. That sounds like a great idea because it would be kind of a shame to have it nobody know. Uh, so first, uh, Danielle Holland, currently IEP Team Associate for Edmondson Westside, is appointed Educational Specialist 2 for IEP Development and Implementation, effective June 27th. Demetria Wright, currently Educational Associate at William S. Bear School, is appointed Educational Associate 2 for IEP Development and Implementation, effective June 27th. Job Grotsky, currently Principal at Mount Royal Elementary Middle, is appointed Director of Social Emotional Learning, Climate and Wellness, um, effective June 27th. Maurice Ship, currently IEP Team Associate at Banneker Blake Academy of Arts and Sciences, is appointed Educational Specialist to IEP Development and Implementation, effective June 27th. Patricia Roberts Rose, currently Student Support Liaison, uh, is appointed Coordinator of Related Services, effective June 27th. Charles Brooks, currently teacher of special education at Friendship Academy of Engineering is a, and Technology, is appointed Educational Specialist 2, IEP Implementation and Development, effective July 2nd. Sherry Harris-Gibbs, currently Staff Associate for Instructional Technology, is appointed Educational Specialist 2, Instructional Technology, effective July 2nd. Daniel Menges, currently Functional Analyst 2, is appointed Educational Specialist 2 for Instructional Technology, effective July 2nd. Ayanna McLean, currently Assistant Principal uh, at Youth Opportunity, is appointed Principal of Independent School Local 1, effective July 2nd. Bernarda Kwa, a currently Assistant Principal at Govins Elementary, is appointed Principal of Govins Elementary, effective July 2nd. Chevelle Lampkin, currently Assistant Principal of Digital Harbor High School, is appointed Principal of National Academy Foundation High School, effective July 2nd. Jada Langston, currently Principal uh, with District of Columbia Public Schools, is appointed Managing Assistant Principal at Mergenthaler Vocational Technical High School, effective July 2nd. 
Kelly Caridio, currently assistant principal at Beachfield Elementary Middle, is appointed principal of Beachfield Elementary Middle, effective July 2nd. Latoya Lewis, currently assistant principal at the William S. Bear School, is appointed managing assistant principal at Lois T. Murray Elementary Middle School, effective July 2nd. Theodosia Edwards, currently assistant principal at Patterson High School, is appointed principal of Claremont High School, effective July 2nd. Erica Parker, currently educational associate at Lakewood Elementary, is appointed interim principal at Lakewood Elementary School, um, effective July 2nd through June 30th of 2019. Maisha Wise, currently educational associate at Blueford Drew Jemison STEM Academy West, is appointed coordinator of PTEC, um, effective July 2nd. Shashi Badula, currently director of IT support systems, is appointed interim chief information technology officer, effective June 27th uh, through June 30th, 2019. Caitlin Brooks, currently principal resident at Lakeland Elementary Middle, is appointed assistant principal at Lakeland Elementary Middle, effective July 2nd. Uh, James Grandshire, currently teacher uh, with the Baltimore County Public Schools, is appointed assistant principal at Marie G. Faring Elementary Middle, effective July 2nd. Stephen Skeen, currently academic content liaison for mathematics, is appointed interim principal at Mount Royal Elementary Middle, effective July 2nd through June 30th, 2019. Amanda Brown, currently principal resident at Thomas Johnson Elementary Middle School, is appointed interim principal at Roland Park Elementary Middle School, effective July 2nd through June 30th, 2019. Uh, next, we have a group of um, appointments of principal residents uh, for the 2018-2019 school year. These are individuals who will go through a one-year residency program preparing for future leadership opportunities in the district, and there are 10. Uh, Ashanti Chambers, currently elementary teacher at James McHenry Elementary Middle School, is appointed principal resident, effective July 2nd. Uh, Baba Olumiji, currently a secondary teacher at Mount Royal Elementary Middle School, is appointed principal resident, effective July 2nd. Natasha Pouncey, currently IEP team associate at Calverton Elementary Middle School, is appointed principal resident, effective July 2nd. Uh, uh, Ninia Muzone, currently secondary teacher at Baltimore Design School, is appointed principal resident, effective July 2nd. Darren Brozine, currently lead teacher at Forest Park High School, is appointed principal resident, effective July 2nd. Jason Pachnis, uh, currently elementary teacher at Lockerman Bundy Elementary School, is appointed principal resident July 2nd. Alexis Suskin Sperry, uh, special education teacher at Green Street Academy, is appointed principal resident effective July 2nd. Monica Cawthorn McLean, uh, elementary teacher at uh, Afia Public Charter Middle School, is appointed principal resident effective July 2nd. Justin Holbrook, currently elementary teacher at Roland Park Elementary Middle School, is appointed principal resident effective July 2nd. And Venus Jackson, currently educational associate at New Era Academy, is appointed principal resident effective July 2nd. Justin Holbrook, uh, currently elementary teacher at Roland Park Elementary Middle, is appointed principal resident effective July 2nd. Uh, the principal residents uh, are not being appointed to a particular location at this time. That's correct. Um, finally, um, there are a number of um, reassignments to announce. Uh, so there are seven, and the, this will close out the list. Um, Alzada Spencer, uh, currently principal at Coldstream Park Elementary Middle School, is reassigned principal of Alexander Hamilton Elementary School, effective July 2nd. Lee Golden Williams, currently assistant principal at Grove Park Elementary Middle School, is uh, reassigned assistant principal at Calvin M. Rodwell Elementary Middle School, effective July 2nd. Calandra Arrington, currently assistant principal at Belmont Elementary, is reassigned assistant principal at Morrill Park Elementary Middle School, effective July 2nd. Lawrence Ashworth, currently assistant principal at Forest Park High School, is assigned, reassigned assistant principal at Cherry Hill Elementary Middle School, effective July 2nd. 
Brandon Pinckney, currently principal at Alexander Hamilton Elementary School, is reassigned principal of Walter P. Carter Elementary Middle School, effective July 2nd. Craig Rivers, currently principal at Mergenthaler Vocational Technical High School, is reassigned as principal of Frederick Douglass High School, effective July 2nd. And Tamitha Woodhouse, currently principal of Excel Academy at Francis M. Wood High, is reassigned principal of Renaissance Academy High, High School, effective July 2nd. Thank you. Questions, comments? When uh, ideally will we know the um, assignments of the residents, the resident principals? Sure. Uh, Our intention is to identify assignments of the 10 resident principals for the, before the July 24th board meeting. Um, and this aligns with the, the timing of the start of their uh, program with new leaders, which supports the, their, them and their residency year. And um, the, those assignments may include one full year assignment or they may include uh, two half year assignments. Other thoughts, questions? For board member, uh, Commissioner Hassan? If you know off the top of your head, how many principal vacancies do we still have? Um, after uh, the appointments and reassignments today, there's one traditional public school um, that for which we've not yet uh, finalized a recommendation, um, and that's Excel Academy. That's amazing. I mean, uh, for, for people who haven't, uh, I guess it'd be Johnette and Ron, uh, Commissioners McFadden and Richardson, that's really unusual at, at this time to have. Is it? Yeah, I mean, I just, I only have a perspective here that's highly unusual in a very desirable situation. Um, so we, yes, so we're going to try to have them in place by the 24th of July. For Excel Academy? Yes. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Commissioner Chinia? Just, I, it's a part of the reassignment piece, but what, how are we going with the folks from schools that are, have closed this year in terms of reassignments? Um, so, um, one of the principals from clo from a closing school was was listed here. So, um, Ms. Spencer um, was reassigned, um, given that her school was closing. Um, we've uh, recently met with each of the principals and assistant principals from um, closing schools to share all of the available options for them. Um, and uh, they, are, they, are, they continue to be on our radar as we think about school-based opportunities and district administrator opportunities. Um, and we hope that uh, many of them will be included um, as uh, appointments or reassignments uh, for the July meeting, if not, if not by August. I have one final question, and I'm not sure if you're the right person to ask this to, but um, we need strong personnel everywhere at all the central office positions, at all the schools. But I always have a little twinge when I see a, a principal go into this one of the central office roles that I, you know, because I just feel like the need for like really strong principals is tr trumps everything. It, it just, this is my personal bias. Um, so, generally speaking, is it that um, are, do people, are people looking for new opportunities? Or do we ask them to make those moves? I, I, maybe it's hard to generalize, and I don't know if it's even a fair question, but I'm curious because there's a chunk of them that are moving into central office, and I just had a little twinge when I saw those. Um, so I, I know I'm not speaking out of turn to first say um, what the CEO has, has said publicly many times, which is that our um, recommendation and your, your approval of appointments to school leader roles um, are the most important decisions we can make as a district all year long. Um, so that is... Uh, we won't get a lot of argument from, from this crowd. So, and Peter's not even sitting here. <laughs> <laughs> so I am starting by agreeing with what you're saying, that you know we know that um, of all the positions we have to fill all across the district, filling um, vacancies in the school leadership positions are, are really um, the, the, have to be our primary focus and our, and our first priority. Um, you're right uh, with respect to your question that it is hard to generalize because um, they are 
there are lots of different situations um, that, that cause us to um, make a recommendation for someone who's a school leader to move into a district office position. Um, I will say that there are um, cases where a school leader has expressed interest in a district office position where we've had to say that is not where we can best, um, best place you and best use your skills at this time. Um, so it is not an, an, you know, an, an automatic decision that we make based on that position without thinking of the impact on the school. Very helpful. I was almost embarrassed to ask it, but I, you know, I was curious. Commissioner Hassan, just one follow-up: um, Is Renaissance not considered a traditional school? And, and um, only because I, I, I don't, if, unless it slipped through and I missed it, but I don't think we've pepped a principal from there yet. For Renaissance, yes, we did. Uh, yes, it I believe we did today. that today. Oh, was it okay? Was okay. Perfect. Um, perfect. Okay. And I went through. I should know offhand, but I. I, I thought it was an, a this is a resi this principal Woodhouse, resident. Woodhouse is. But it wasn't a. Woodhouse is. Oh right. Yes. So, so actually, the last one I named is the Tamitha Woodhouse. Perfect. Being Thank you. That's why, Thank you. That's why Excel. If I, if I was so, that's exactly. why Excel, Excel is open. Is open. Right. Perfect. That's where I. Okay, thanks for your patience with us. And with that, and thanks for everybody in your interest. Um, with that, the me uh, actually, did I already take a motion to close this meeting? No. Boy, it's a good thing summer's here. Um, can I have a motion to close the meeting? To adjourn. to adjourn the meeting? That too. Commissioner Hassan, second. Commissioner Richardson, all in favor? Um, motion passes three, five, eight, zero with two absent. We are officially adjourned.